Right, I have some excellent new tools through from Banggood. I have this 50 millimeter boring head with the MT2 taper adapter. Um, I'm going to use this boring head on both my Chinese mini lathe and the MyFord ML7. The MT2 taper fits the MyFord ML7 spindle. I'm waiting to get the MT3 um, taper so that I can use it on the Chinese mini lathe and you'll see this in operation on that lathe at a later day. I've got my um, ER32 collet through from Banggood as well and I'm going to do a view, review on those uh, later today on the Chinese mini lathe but this evening I want to show um, how this um, boring head works on the MyFord ML7. So it came in these two boxes here, the head in this one um, and the uh, MT2 in that one. This one just screws onto that one and tighten that one up. Um, it's a really good quality looking tool, uh, really nice finishes and in operation it's very smooth. All the Allen um, grub screws are very good um, quality and it's in metric. It takes 12 millimeter shank tools and has one, two, three, four positions. You can get a set of these tools um, in 12 millimeter shank to fit this um, boring head or you can actually um, get the insert tooling and saw them down to whatever length you want. And at the moment I don't have the 12 millimeter shank set, I have the 3 8 inch shank set. So what I've done is I've got a piece of um, 12 millimeter stainless steel bar, drilled it through for 3 8 and split it with a hacksaw. So that's a split bush that goes over the um, shank of that one. That one will go into the um, boring head just the same. And when that one locks up, it holds it solid just the same. And the boring head comes with the three Allen keys for all the um, grub screws, but I do like to use um, this type of um, Allen key. It's much easier to use and a nice grip. And the insert um, tool that I sawed down is this one here. It's the um, S12M-SCLCR06. I'll put all the um, links to the tools below. I sawed mine off to 62 millimeter in length. So if you do shorten a tool like this, make sure you keep the um, piece of shank. It's really good tool steel. You can actually heat it up red hot, let it cool down slowly to anneal it. Then you can machine it and make it into other items and tooling. And um, then you can actually um, reheat it and quench it to reharden it. Or you can just um, grind it into um, punches or uh, various different tools and it's really handy uh, when you've got um, two flats on it for various different things so nothing's wasted and it's a really good piece of material the MT2 taper is threaded for 10 millimeter I bought some 10 millimeter stainless steel studding 12 inches long and screw that one right in to the stop and that one will act as the drawbar. So now I'll show this excellent boring head in operation on the MyFed ML7 machining some half inch thick mild steel. So whenever I'm using the spindle taper for tooling I always use a pull through to make sure the um, bore is cleaned thoroughly right the way through. Um, plus the airline. And I use my MyFood um, catch play as a thread protector. 
So that protects that spindle thread from getting damaged in any way. Plus I can actually use this diameter to stop the spindle with my hand. And then I've got the small plastic bush and the nut on the drawbar. bar. I will make a, a nut assembly up so that I don't have to take the guard off at the back um, to do that one up. And then I put my small carbide boring bar in the split bush in the central hole. And lock that one up. And that's ready to go. So the boring head dial is in metric and I work in Imperial. I put a DTI on the diameter here and then loosen the gib and I do a quarter of a turn on that dial and then see how much that registers on the clock and it's about five thou so then I can do ten thou cuts on this mild steel uh, for roughing out and then when I get um, very near to the diameter if I've got a critical diameter I can actually just use this dial um, just to move it in a couple of thou to finish off. So now I can machine that piece of steel just for an example. Loosen it off, quarter of a turn and tighten that up. I leave these two set. let it feed back on the lathe so that I get a good finish on the reverse car. And now a 20 thou cup.
and it handles that perfectly. So now I'm going to test my insert boring bar. I'm still on 500 revs and now I'm going to do a 40 thou cut overall for the final test. And there was a bit of chatter on that Ford car, but a lovely finish on the uh, reverse. And that proves that's really good toll. So I'm really pleased with this 50 millimeter boring head. I could have used it for many jobs I've done in the past. And I'm gonna get the MT3 adapter so I can actually use it on the Chinese mini lathe as well. So this type of um, insert tooling is excellent when it's cut down to using the boring head and the small brazed boring bars are brilliant as well for very small bores. And the test piece, you can see there's a lovely finish in that really for my old steel, it's not the best of materials to get a good finish in, um, so I'm very pleased with that tall